Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll be working through some examples of using the first value and last value analytic functions to solve some problems. If you're new to analytic functions, there are some links in the description box, including an introduction post that will help you understand the basics. We start off with a list of employees in the EMP table. We're going to focus on the salaries stored in the sal column. The first value analytic function allows us to capture the first value of the specified column or expression and present it in every subsequent row. In this example we ask for the first salary. Notice the over clause is empty. When we run this we see the salary of the first row returned was 1300 which is presented as the first sal value in each row. You may be surprised by that value, thinking it should have captured the lowest or highest salary, but it did exactly what we asked for. We asked for the first value and we got the first. If we want to capture a specific value, we have to be a bit more specific. If we want to capture the lowest salary and present it on every row, we need to include an order by in the analytic clause. Here we order by salary, with the default order being ascending order. When we run this, we see the lowest salary is being captured and presented in each row. Building on the previous example, we calculate the difference between the lowest salary and the salary value for the current row. As expected, we get the difference between the two salaries displayed. As with many analytic functions, adding the partition by clause allows us to put boundaries on the action of the analytic function. By using partition by department, we're capturing the lowest salary in each department. As expected, the lowest in department column is populated with the lowest salary value for each department. We can use first value to capture the highest salary by altering the order by clause. In addition to capturing the lowest salary per department, we now also capture the highest. The only difference in the analytic function call is we've switched to descending order. The result set now includes the highest salary in the department. We could use last value to get the highest salary, but there's a trap waiting for us. Here we've substituted in a call to last value using the same ordered set in ascending order. That sounds like we should be capturing the highest salary in each department. When we look at the output, it's not what we expected to see. Instead, we seem to be displaying the current value again. This is because of the default windowing clause. Whenever we use an order by in an analytic clause, we get the default windowing clause of range between unbounded preceding and current row. So we only get the highest value from the current row up within the partition boundary. To fix that, we need to add a custom windowing clause. Here we've repeated the previous example, but added a custom windowing clause of rows between unbounded preceding and unbounded following. This will allow the analytic function to act on all rows in the partition. And sure enough, we get the highest salary in the department captured. Using last value looks more complicated and seems to be prone to mistakes by the developer. So why not use first value and order the rows differently? Well you can, but if you have multiple analytic function calls, each with a different order by, you're adding to the work that needs to be done to process the query. In this example, we want to capture the lowest and highest salary again. By using first value and last value, both using the same order by, the database may be able to take advantage of this and only order the data once for both analytics. 
Of course, we get the result we expected. Both the lowest and highest salaries are captured for each department. This should have given you some idea of what the first value and last value analytic functions can be used for. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.